that is how can people find your business online? Um, I don't know about you guys, but a lot of people are um, working with accounts on social media and so on. They are probably working on SEO optimization so people can find your homepage, etc. But if you look how people are finding your business today, uh, this is what we see. There are, of course, a lot of people using Google or Bing or something, other search motor to find it. Uh, and they will find your homepage or something else indexed on Google. But we also have Facebook. Uh, your business has to be located on, on Facebook. You can search like uh, a restaurant near where I am right now or at Malmö or just the name of the place or so. Uh, it's also make the possibility for people to check in at your place to have uh, mar free marketing that way. <coughs> people using um, maps. So if you have your iPhone on Apple, uh, you want to find to uh, to uh, to a restaurant or a hotel or whatever, uh, you search there. And if it's not visible there, it's not going to find there. The customer have to go back to Google, try to find your homepage, try to find the address, try to copy that, try to go back to the map, try to put the address in to try to find to your place. You're going to lose customer. They're not going to come if they're not really, really committed. <coughs> um, same thing, there are a lot of these services. You have uh, Yelp hair, it's not that big in Sweden, very big in US, Norwegian, and so Norway, and so on. Also big business listing. Uh, Foursquare, probably know about. A lot of people thinking that ah, it's not that important with Foursquare, the user base is very specific, it's not our target. But with Foursquare and all of these, they have APIs going out to other apps. So it's not only all of this, it's going out to thousands of other apps that, that the user you want into your store may be, um, might be using. And this is the last one you're talking about. Yeah. Yelp, yeah. Yeah, we com yeah it's, it's, a, it's a fine, fine business uh, app. It's, it's have a homepage you can use. It's also have an app called Yelp with the I. Uh, and it's a, it's a big directory listing uh, of, of businesses. So you can find a nice re and the reviews and stuff. Uh, so, so you can find a nice restaurant if you're out traveling or something like that. And since it also has big APIs, so you think, okay, but it's not big in Sweden, so it doesn't matter. But I can tell you, if you're not on Yelp, you're probably not on, uh, you might, it's a big issue, and you might not be on uh, Apple Maps. If you register on Yelp, you have a big chance to be on Apple Maps because Apple is one of all that use that API. So that's that's a big, a good example of why it's very important to be of some of those, even if they're not big in Sweden, because the other services are using them as a data source. And it's, it's the same with Foursquare. A lot, a lot, a lot. I will go into it a little bit deeper later. People are also using uh, Android, very big phone, uh, using it for maps. It's... Um, I I'm not an Android user. What's the other called? The smartness where you are and stuff, Marcus? Uh, Google, now. Google Now, yeah. So it's, it's very important that your, your place is also registered on Google, not that you found on the search. Google is so much more. I will go a little bit more in detail with Google soon. Uh, yeah, and so on. And it's just keep on going, you know, how, how people find your place, how, how it's visible on the Internet, on Instagram, and so on. Uh, so if we look at Google, the most most common where people think about this is search, of course, uh, how, how to find your business. But as I said a little bit earlier, it's also like in the phone, on maps and, um, and searches and so on. And Google Maps is also on other platforms. It's on machines and every, all kind of machines. Uh, and then it's Google Plus. I know a lot of companies don't think, ah, Google Plus is not that important. It's kind of something like Facebook and people not using it. but. That Google has something called uh, Google Business, My Business, or something like that. Uh, and it's all working together. So if you have your business registered on Google and Google+, Plus, it will rate a lot higher here. It will show up with the correct information here. It will show up with the correct information here and here. And the same as all the others, it has public APIs going out to thousands or more um, apps that uses this data. 
So it's, I would say it's very, very important to register your business on Google and own it and take control and make sure. I mean, it's not just only ha that you maybe you think, of, ah, but my business is there, the community have added or something. Yeah, but you not to have not control over your information and I can go in and change the information and change the opening hours or something. It's not fun as a customer to find your business, see it's open, go over there and it's closed. That's not good. You have to have the correct things there. Uh, I think, yeah, Facebook. It's so big in Sweden, so I probably don't have to say much about it, but it's very common there too that it's not you not own your business information there, that is someone in the community have, have added your business because they sh checked in on it once or something like that. So take control of it, make sure the information is correct. You reach 70% of the Swedish users or something, and I don't know how many people in the world. Uh, it's also thousands of other apps using the FBI, uh, FBI, <laughs> the Facebook <laughs> API. Uh, so a lot of them. For instance, a good example is Instagram is now starting using it um, as a test, I think, because it's not all mostly using Foursquare. Uh, so it's going to get more and more important to have it correct there. And Foursquare, as I said before, is a, a big player in the API. It's, have, um, it's, a, it's probably the best data source right now, so a lot of apps using it. Uh, so, of course, all the Foursquare user, the Swarm user, that's how to find uh, something. But it's also, if you, uh, the Twitter using uh, Foursquare's API, Pinterest use it, Interest, Instagram use it, Wine, yeah, you see, and thousands of more. It's so many uses this data source, so you have to have control of that. Uh, and Apple, yeah, um, yeah, <laughs> we think it's the world's most popular device. So, and and here, so if you're registered on, on Apple, uh, you can be the, the all the Ica or Gershman, whatever can be found on Apple Maps. Um, Apple is a, is a hard one because they don't have control. They use other APIs to be listed, and you're never sure which one they use. But we, we have learned that Regison and Yelp, uh, in all cases until now, we have managed to be uh, visible um, on Apple Maps. But they, they also use TomTom Tom and, and a lot of other apps. So I think it's different, it differ on the country, I guess. <coughs> uh, but they are now releasing um, their own, what, what should we call it, Places API directory listing. So you can start to register your place on Apple Maps, on Apple directly. But it's all, all only released in the uh, US at the moment. So we can't use it yet, but it will soon come. So here, <coughs> our recommendation is to make sure to be visible here. Uh, and then if we look there. And it will also come in other ways in the phone. I, I had an example. If, uh, if I call a number, I had a, I w w helping a hotel here this week to, uh, to be really visible. And I, I call that number. I don't have it in my phone book, but it will come up with name because it recognizes it from, from the directory listing here. So it's come up the hotel name. You go into information, get all the picture, you get all the reviews. You can directly add it to a contact. You can rate it. You can do everything. Yes, because it matched the num telephone number on the direct listing, directly in the phone. So it's not, not just only the maps. <laughs> yeah. 